Hey guys, one Brad H coming at you with another video. I'm just gonna do a quick rundown on this 2017 Polaris Ranger that we picked up. Uh, it's a 2017, has a 570 EFI engine in it. course this uh this model will accept the lock and ride which i did not opt to get because it's very expensive um i uh, installed a custom steel roof with rear led lights in the back Polaris has the lock and ride system with all the holes here in the bed so you can purchase uh, additional aftermarket equipment to set in here to pretty much uh, you slide a pin in here and tighten it up and it holds it in place whatever you want to tie down or add additional up top. I installed a aftermarket LED light out front here. Yeah. I'll uh, fire it up for you. dog wants to go for a ride. <laughs> so there's tilt steering, uh, cup holders underneath the seat here. A little muddy, don't mind it. The battery is right down there. Here's your ECU. Which I actually, here's your ECU right here. Here's your fuse box. Do not get this wet when you're pressure washing it. Try not to get this wet either. I had a problem with that when I first bought this machine. Um, pressure washed it and hosed it down real good. Tried to get the mud off of it and went to start it up. Would not start. And then after multiple times, it would start, run for about 15 seconds, shut off, and it died. So I pulled in the garage, flipped the box up in the back, and I put a fan on, on that, and I flipped the seat up, and I had a, a big box fan on it for probably two hours, and that seemed to dry it out, and it started up after that, no problems uh, after that, but... temperature Oops, sorry got your coolant temperature your DC voltage uh, hours trip meter mileage overall mileage that's uh, another I think that's another mileage RPM and back to engine coolant. Get the steering wheel back up. Down here we have a rocker switch and all the way down is one wheel drive which 
would be your back right wheel. So if you're driving down in stone or you're going to go up in somebody's backyard and pull a Yui, one wheel drive will not leave big huge marks like a locking differential wheel, like in a say like a Honda or something like that, like you turn the wheel and it's just going to, you know, especially if you have uh, aggressive tires in the back, it's just going to rip the, the grass and stuff right up. So flip it to the middle, that's a two wheel drive, both rear wheels are locked, and then all the way up is four wheel drive, has a um, electro or electro magnetic locking differential. And this here is just a toggle switch. I wanted to mount this like here, something like that, uh, at some point with the sticky tape, but when I put, installed it, it was cold out. But it's pretty bright. Here are the, uh, the factory lights. What you gotta do is switch. You turn it on, you start the vehicle, and no lights are on, but when you switch it back, one click, the headlights turn on. And then here's the additional LED light that I installed. That's a little bit different. But. Under the front hood here, and a click there, come around on this side, click there. Got your radiator reservoir, coolant tank, there's a so I got a rectifier. Um, this is a relay and fuse um, for the front LED light. And then we'll kick the old dog out of the back here. She loves to ride in the back. garbage back here. Right here is a handle. You can lift up for the rear bed. And back here is the engine. It's a 570 fuel injected. Here's your air box right here. Spark plug there. Fuel injector is right down in there, and right here, believe it or not, right there, and there's a couple vents here, is the engine intake. So you never want to get water above there. That's your intake portion for the engine. And right down here, a lot of people don't know, there's a red plug. That guy right there is if you're going through mud, thick mud, whatnot, uh, after your ride is done with, you're gonna wanna take a flathead screwdriver, unscrew that, and uh, make sure there's no water in there because that's where your belt is. And on these, the belt is extremely easy to change. Yeah, it's pretty much the uh, breakdown of the Polaris 570 Ranger. I love it. It's got tons of power, and I definitely recommend it. Thanks a lot. Subscribe, and have a good night.